In this video, we're looking at a short Stanford excerpt from O oh, for a Closer Walk. This is two systems that include the text, Sweet Messenger of Rest, I Hate the Sins That Made Thee Mourn. So the first thing we're looking at is the sort of bipolar nature of this text. Uh, sweet messenger of rest and then the word hate or I hate the sins that made thee mourn. So really a stark contrast in the text and although we don't have to reflect that in the organ registration we can try or we can see what might be appropriate on certain organs. Sweet messenger of rest brings to my mind um, the sweet sound of the celestes. Maybe also one string on the swell with a tremulant. Or simply the string by itself. But then we have a contrasting phrase, I hate the sins that made thee mourn. This to me implies a bit more gravity, so maybe I'll want to bring on some more in the eight foot pitch. Uh, if you have um, an organ with two or three eight-foot flues, this would be the time, instead of having one flue, to add one or two more. This also gives us more possibility to crescendo where Stanford has indicated to crescendo on the words, I hate the, so that we're loud by the word sins, or relatively loud, not really. Here's what that would sound like when we put both of those phrases together. That's one of many ways to indicate the change in text, the mood change. Now we also have another issue that was created for the judicious listener may have heard that the, on this registration and on our basic scheme that we looked at in basic registration uh, includes the swell to pedal in almost in our standard general setup, which is the same thing here. However, on the word rest, we are lifting the manuals, but the pedal still holds according to Stanford's notation. So when I change the registration on the phrase, I'm actually changing the pedal registration while I'm holding the pedal. And all this is, although this is very subtle, it's not ideal. So in order to get rid of that, I would need to back up somewhere and remove the swell to pedal. And according to our scheme, I would also need to add an eight foot in the pedal. So here's what uh, I played before, except now with an independent pedal line. One is how do I practice that? And two, uh, what do I do with, now that I have an independent pedal line, but I have a crescendo and the pedal stops on this organ and many organs are not enclosed. 
So I've lost the crescendo in the pedal. The first issue is how to practice this. The piston change, and that's simply, the simple answer is to slow it down on exactly that measure, to isolate the issue that you want to practice. The final thing is we've created an independent pedal line so that we don't have uh, an increase in sound on the pedal when it's not wanted, but then we lose the crescendo. So I'm going to need to add the swell to pedal back to the pedal um, when the pedal lifts. So on this measure, I'll be looking at the following movements. I'll start with an independent pedal line and the reduced swell. Lift the manuals. Increase the swell, so swell three. Play the manuals while I lift the pedal and add swell to pedal back to the pedal so I can do the crescendo with all the voices. Here's what that looks like again. Independent pedal, swell one. We'll do a celeste this time just for fun. together. several issues in only the matter of two short phrases in Stanford's O for a Closer Walk. Happy practice.